Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having an awesome Sunday that you're gonna get into the studio today. But I came into the studio uh, this morning and uh, kind of sometimes when I haven't been working for a while, uh, I hit resistance and I, I do this thing and um, especially I haven't been painting regularly. So I thought I would share my hack for doing this and it has to do with a plan. Um, I come with a plan. I write down one to two, three things that I'm trying to do, um, you know, uh, on the on the work. I write it down ahead of time. Sometimes I do it uh, at the end of a painting session and then I write down kind of what I want so I can remember. But I, it's basically another form. Instead of just staring at this, which I get so lost in, I come in and I have... Uh, two or three things I'm chasing down. What are the one or two, three things, a couple things you're trying to do in your art right now? And before you go into this, back into this, in my case, um, you touch base on those. What are those three things? Literally, what are those three things? And so for me, on this picture, um, my, my notes are, I'm, I want to open up... Um, so there's a feeling of the bottom of this picture over here that I love, that openness. That's the part that is kind of exciting for me, but the tight, the top feels all congested. So I want to open, open up the top like the bottom. And that has to do with having white. It has to do with the way things are layered on top of each other. It, it just has to do with the scale of my thinking. There's certain things that are happening on the bottom that I can see bigger things with smaller things. There's more variation. I'm more open. I feel more open. So that's the first thing. And that's a great reminder, right? You know, open the bottom, open the top like the bottom for me. So that's what that means. And most people wouldn't even know what this means, these little scribbles. But I'm just telling you, that's my first one. The second one is overlap. It's just, I've written overlap here. Uh, that's what creates a lot of the juice in my work um, or what I'm interested in. That's something I'm really using. I'm getting depth by bringing things in front of other things. Again, it's that bottom part as opposed to just sticking things all on one surface. I'm going, I want to go in and out. The third one uh, is, is making sure that every time I put a mark on feels as free as when I start. When I start, I'm just covering things and I want, I want to, I want that to feel that way on all the marks. So it's just a kind of reminder. Don't think too much. Just put it on. Just put it on. You know, it's almost like look away as you put it on. So these three things, these are my ideas that, that I'm trying to do on this picture right now. And, and actually in all, in all my work, but now, after, especially after talking about it, when I go back in, I'm going to be already juiced in a certain way. I'm already going to be primed to, and, and my results are better. All I need to do now is just do it, which is challenging, but it's so much easier because of what I've just thought about and what I've just rehearsed, what I've just remembered. It's like this little, um, preamble to this painting session that's coming out anyway um let me know what what let me know in the comments what if this is this even you relate to this and do you write this down how do you do this how do you hold that thread we we tend to rely on the art all the time to teach us but sometimes we can abstract these ideas and then pull them out into written form or different ways so we have a couple things to look at that then informs the work so let me know in the comments i'd be really curious this week on the podcast i'm talking about actually this aspect the bigger challenge of coming back from a break and and being kind of like a stranger in your own studio. And I'm talking about why that happens and I'm talking about how to work around that in a deeper way. You know, planning, planning, which is something I've just talked a little bit about here, but planning, you know, what in a, in a deeper sense, you know, what brings you alive? How can you bring this back into your work? So I've got a bunch of kind of uh, things that I do that, that shorten that time where I'm just kind of on the outside of my studio and I haven't really dropped in. So, uh, if this happens to you, um, 
Check it out. It's coming out on Wednesday. There's a link down there uh, below to subscribe. So anyway, I'm looking forward to reading your comments. You guys, thanks so much for being here and I will see you uh, real soon. Okay, hope you can make some art today. Thanks. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, let's do this. Awesome.